Hi guys, welcome to Lens City. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'll be teaching you biology. Our topic today is recognizing living things. Let's go along. So, for us to talk about biology, we have to understand what biology is. Biology is a science, obviously. It's a science subject. So, before we understand what biology is, we have to talk about science in itself. And what science is, science is defined as a systematic process of making inquiry about li the living things and non-living things in our environment. Let me take that again. Science is defined as a systematic process of making inquiry about the living things and non-living things in our environment. So that simply means science is just simply talking about the living things and the non-living things and recognizing, oh, these are the living things, these are the non-living things, and what are the differences between them? What makes this particular thing a living thing? What makes the other thing a non-living thing? Now, so what that basically means is science is talking about the living things and the non-living things. What makes this particular thing a living thing? What makes the other thing a non-living thing? Now, what are the characteristics of the living things that make it different from the non-living thing? Now, let's move on to the origin of the word biology itself. Biology in itself is derived from two Greek words. The two words, which are bios and logos. Bios means life. Logos means to study. So if we bring those two words together, literally, biology means to study life, study of life. So basically, biology is the study of life. Now let's go on to a more concise and concrete definition of biology. Let's put all the things we've learned together about biology into a definition. Biology is defined as a science of life, ranging from the unicellular organisms to the study of global interaction among millions of organisms that form life. Let me take that again. Biology is defined as a science of life ranging from the unicellular organisms to the study of global interaction among millions of organisms that form life. So that's what biology is in, in its concise definition. We can also define biology as the study of life or the life history of individual organisms as well as the collective history of all. So when we are talking about living things in under biology, we are not just talking about the living things we have presently. We're also talking about the history of those organisms, how the organisms got to the level they are, how they got to the position they are, the organisms, how did this organism start? How, where did this organism come from? That is what we're talking about in biology. So now that we understand what biology is, we now want to understand the divisions of that biology, the other things that are under biology that make up biology itself. So biology has two broad divisions, which are zoology and botany. These are familiar words. Zoology is simply the study of animals. Botany is the study of plants. So we have two major parts of biology. Since we are talking of living things under biology, living things are made up of mainly plants and animals. So it makes sense that the two broad divisions of biology we have are the study of the plants and the study of the animals. The study of the plants is botany and the study of the animals is zoology. Apart from these broad divisions of biology, we also have some other subdivisions under these divisions of biology. We have several divisions of biology, other parts in which you can study. We've called biology a study of life. So there are also divisions, other parts under biology which can be studied. Examples are morphology, which is the study of the external features of living things. We also have anatomy, which is the study of the internal structure of living things. So morphology and anatomy are, are kind of related, but morphology is just the study of the external features, while anatomy is the study of the internal features of living things. Physiology also is the study of how living things function, the function of each part of the body of living things, the processes that are brought together to make sure a living thing functions. Then we also have genetics, which is the study of how living things inherit characteristics or characters from their parents. We also have ecology, which is the study of the relationship between living things and their environment. Another division of biology that we have is microbiology, which is the study of microorganisms. So that is to tell us that when we are talking about living things under biology, we are not just talking about the organisms and the living things that we can see. Microorganisms that are living are also organisms. They are also living things. 
So there's a part of biology which we study those organisms, which is called microbiology. Then we also have taxonomy, which is the study of naming or classification of organisms. So taxonomy is the part of biology which talks about, oh, why are we calling lion, lion? Why are we calling maize plant? Why are we calling it maize? So that is the, and why are we classifying maize as a plant and classifying lion as an animal? Taxonomy is the part of biology that deals with that. Then we also have histology. Histology is the study of tissues and cells under a microscope. So when we're talking about the cells and tissues of living things, how they come together, looking at each part of them, looking at them very carefully on the microscopic level, that is histology. Then we also have embryology, which is the study of gametes, fertilization and development of embryos. That is basically what embryology is all about. The way organisms grow, the way they are fertilized, the way they come into being, that is embryology. Then we also have evolution, which is the changing of characteristics of a species over several generations. So there's also a part of biology in which we study how organisms have evolved over time into what we know them to be. We also have several other divisions of that biology. We have hundreds of them. We have bacteriology, virology, and so on.